It began innocently enough in the winter of 1952, a 17-game season under inaugural head coach Larry Striplin against the likes of the local YMCA and Vanderbilt's B team. Who could have imagined what Belmont basketball would become? From NAIA juggernaut to NCAA tournament darling, Belmont has passed every stage with high marks. The tradition grows with each passing year. Well, I think imagining is, is, is a good word because uh, that's really all. When, when you walk into Stripling Gym in 1986, uh, really all I try to do is kind of win the next game. When you start out uh, on a journey like this, I think you have to have faith that you will get there. We didn't know what that process was going to look like. You know, that's what a coach needs to do. He starts focusing too far in the future or, or sets too many lofty goals. Uh, we just try to get better. I think when uh, my predecessor, Bill Trout, made the decision several years ago to go directly from NAI to Division I, uh, even he didn't envision the, the success that we would have by now, and I know he's so proud of it as well. We knew that Belmont afforded us every opportunity to have success, to have arenas uh, like we've got in the Curb Event Center to win conference championships, to play on a national level. And so, yeah, we, we, we imagined it. We just didn't know what the script would look like. The level of competition may have changed for Belmont, but the results have largely stayed the same. Steady, uncompromising success led by longtime head coach Rick Bird. One of the winningest coaches in college basketball today, Bird is a Belmont University fixture. Playing for championships and playing for Coach Bird has brought players to Belmont University for nearly a quarter century. Coach Bird brings a lot of things to the table. I think his, his best asset, though, would be his passion. When we're down, he lifts us up. You know, we don't really know how we're going to be. You know, he gives us direction and guides us, you know. Coach Bird is a perfect fit because I think he has a true love for this institution. Uh, I think he wants to represent Belmont in a first-class way in everything he does. I like the personnel, I like the coaches, I like the, the teammates. I just felt the atmosphere. It's been fun to watch us transition from a small school who was an independent who really didn't have a shot at, at making the tournament uh, to getting into a conference. It's been a dream come true for me to make it to the NCAA tournament twice. You know, once was great and then, and then to go again was great and have the opportunity to go one more time. And it's really, I'm really looking forward to that. I mean, you're sitting in a stadium and there's 15,000 people in this arena. You know, it's something you dream of as a kid in your backyard shooting, shooting jump shots. Everybody's cheering, the other team is, is cheering for their team. A million things are going through your mind, but at the same time, the first thing that, that you can think of is just, I'm playing in the NCAA tournament. And so, it's, pretty, it's a pretty amazing feeling. Perhaps the only thing more impressive than Coach Bird's win-loss record is his commitment to academic achievement. Since its arrival in the Atlantic Sun Conference six years ago, Belmont basketball has produced 58 academic all-conference honorees, far and away the benchmark for the league. And arguably the program's three finest players of the NCAA era, Wes Bertner, Adam Mark, and Justin Hare, have all been named NCAA Academic All-Americans. I think that's the most special thing about Belmont is the attitude that our student athletes bring to the university. They're students first and athletes second. Uh, they win in the classroom and they win on the court. The culture on our basketball team is to do well in the classroom. And, and, and sadly, that's not always the case in college athletics or college basketball in particular. One of the reasons I chose Belmont was first because I wanted to get a good education and I felt like they provided it. It's, it's not negotiable. It's, it's kind of one of those things that they expect us to do well in the classroom and, uh, you know, they're not going to make exceptions for success on the court. So it's a win-win. Belmont's proud of our student athletes. Our student athletes are proud to be at Belmont. At least for our basketball program, Belmont University affords us a quality education uh, for us to promote. The Academic Center within Belmont Athletics is just part of the program's signature facility, the Kirby Vent Center. Open for play in the fall of 2003, the Kirby Vent Center is a renowned multi-purpose arena. Home not only to Belmont basketball and volleyball, the Kirby Vent Center sports top-of-the-line locker rooms, strength and conditioning, and athletic training space. From an energized environment on game day to off-season training regimens, the Kirby Vent Center gives Belmont basketball an edge. In terms of a facility, it really just it legitimizes the fact that we're an NCAA Division I basketball program. 
when recruits come in here on their visits and see this facility, they know that Belmont means business about winning basketball games. I think what Mike Curb did in making that league gift to this event center changed everything for Belmont. I think it created a venue for our sports teams, an entertainment center for the campus, uh, a symbol for the students that Belmont's on the move. The Battle of the Boulevard, the Lipscomb versus Belmont game, is always a huge game for us. Just to have so much of that excitement and pride in your school that a lot of the student body would come to such a big game. It's just really, it's a really special thing that not a lot of schools have. There's some bigger venues, but there's not a better one than the Curb Center. We, we love the Curb. One thing's for sure, the Belmont basketball community is a tight-knit family. People united by common bonds, faith, shared experiences, and dreams. People who have a complete appreciation for what Belmont University stands for. To live by the values of teamwork, sacrifice, and good sportsmanship. So what does it mean to be a Bruin? To be a Bruin means to live life with your co-workers, your team, everybody in the Belmont community. To be a Bruin means to really have pride in Belmont and want to see Belmont succeed on all levels. To be a Bruin means to be a part of something you can really be proud of, to come and, and cheer for student athletes who are true student athletes, who, who it's, it's fun to cheer for every game out. To be a Bruin means my childhood dreams are coming true. Um, I'm doing exactly what I wish I would be doing when I was a little kid, and that's a lot of fun.